that shit rub off, man. That shit mm-hmm. make you want to be great when you're around. Greatness. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think Dwayne Wade really get his flowers, man. You know, we live in the community because he dressed different now and this and that. But the I got three rings. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I'm going to tell y'all a story. It's breaking news. Okay. Uh, I got invited this year to Utah um, to Dwayne Wade's party. Mm. And I hit Dwayne Wade up in the. Uh, I always hit him up and trying to get him on my show, Trash mm-hmm. Talk. And uh, he said he gonna do it, but he say, "Oh, you coming to Utah?" I'm like, yeah, I'm coming to Utah. I want to get you on my show. He was like, cool, but you know, it didn't line up because he was so busy. But he said, "I tell you what, I'm gonna invite you out to the uh, to my party, me and CP3." Mm. So he invited me out. I go. As soon as I step in, everybody know who I am. <laughs> From CP3 to Kevin Durant, you name it, all of them was there. All of them know who I am. Zion, uh, Mike Evans, I got to him. Uh, Dwayne Wade really, really genuine showed me love. Not only him, his whole family. Mm. Oh, welcome me in, Gabriel. Mm-hmm. Uh, good people, man. You know, you hear so many stories about man. Them ways, them motherfuckers weird. Mm. They might be, but them motherfuckers rich. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers super rich. And, you know, just being around and them. they've been working. Yeah, it's being around them and, you know, just that shit rub off, man. That shit mm-hmm. make you want to be great when you're around. Greatness. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think Dwayne Wade really get his flowers, man. You know, we live in the community because he dressed different now and this and that. But the got three rings. He's a Hall of Famer. Like, so you can learn a lot from these type of people. Not only him, just being around him. He brought me into his world mm-hmm. around everybody else, his, you know, his friends and, and shit like that. And soak up all the information, and soak up all of that. Networking with them. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I fuck with you. I Like people like Steve Smith, retired Steve Smith, Yadunga Haslam, Quentin Richardson, uh, Jason Tatum, all these guys, when they see me, they light up like, oh, shit. Yeah, I call you trash, but it's all love. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because I'm in a room full of rich motherfuckers. Why mm-hmm. be mad? Exactly. Wow. So, it's love. Man, so uh, let's get back up. Don't try to come on back to that All Star game. <laughs> that day, you know, you ain't the same nigga you was uh, when Chat got you down there. You you kind of know where you. Yeah, I'm going in here now yeah. with ambition and trying to figure it out to where I can make it make sense for my brand. Most definitely, I know that's where your head was at. Most definitely. <laughs> so Most definitely. what did you what did you do that you you know kind of. I know, didn't you interview or something? Did you do something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so let, let's talk uh, about that. Gary Payton. Gary Payton, old man dude back in the day. Yeah. That mm-hmm. nigga was upset back in the days when he man. played a nigga. I seen him get a lot of niggas out of that game. Let's hey. talk about it. Hey, real thorough dude, uh, down to earth, a real t- a shit talker in way. real life. Mm. A real shit talker, a businessman at that. He got a lot of business going on. Everybody know he got the weed strand going on. Right. That shit dope. And he's doing a comedy show. Out there in, um, in the Bay Area, Tommy T's, which I'm going to be there April 9th. But he's going to be there at March the 12th. Okay. And, and he invited me out to come and do some shit with him and uh, on that level. So it's, 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 it's always business, man, at the end of the day. You meet these people, you got to put you around these people for a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.